To start with Friday's Daily Mail, blackout deal sparks a storm. That's the headline they've gone with, and that's to do with the households being offered £10 a day to cut electric usage at peak times in a bid to avoid winter blackouts. We're going to be covering that, obviously, in a moment. Friday's te Daily Telegraph, UK warned it could face winter blackouts. And that's the same story there. And also Rees Mogg backs plan for coronation bank holiday and also protocol too strict. And that is a story we are going to be covering as well. Friday's Independent now. Nursery children killed in Thai massacre. Absolutely horrific story there. And also Britain could face rolling blackouts this winter. More gloomy news regarding the energy crisis. Friday's Guardian now. They lead with rolling power cuts could put lives at risk. Charities tell National Grid. And also, Daily Mail publisher faces legal challenge, another story that we will be covering. Friday's Financial Times now. Bank of England was on the brink of crisis after market turmoil. And uh, US weighs oil exports banned to counter OPEC cuts as Saudi relations strain. Friday's Express now. Homes face three-hour winter power cuts. This is the major theme of the front covers tomorrow. And Friday's, win uh, Friday's Metro also has the same, a winter of disconnect. And finally... Friday's Daily Star. New advice to stop Blackout Britain. Wash your Grundies at midnight. I have no idea what Grundies are. Maybe we'll work that out during the course of the show. And those were your front pages.